All right, Congress, meanwhile, set to move forward with the president's plan to impose a fee on big banks, further escalating its war against Wall Street, a war that John Thomas, financial CEO, Thomas Belisis is getting very tired of very, very quickly. That's why he's leading on Wall Street in its fight against anti-bank rhetoric from Washington. Well, you've got a big task on your hands, young man. <laughs> what kind of reaction are you getting? Well, you know, everyone is very supportive. I mean, it's come to a point over the last, I would say, 30 days since the president started bashing everyone on Wall Street. The Dow has dropped, you know. He hates you guys. He does. I mean, he does. it's constant. It's unending. You know, it's disheartening. And you know what? The, the number one issue right now in people's minds is creating jobs. You know, you're not going to create jobs by taxing the banks $90 billion. I mean, what entrepreneur right now is going to risk their capital starting a new business to hire people to create jobs? I mean, that's what we're looking to do. I mean, Wall Street. But he's saying, Tom, he's doing it because you guys, not you specifically, but, but the industry, particularly the banks, they're making money hand over fist and they're handing out bonuses like it's nobody's business. So can well afford it. I mean, listen, this is capitalism. I mean, my parents have come here from Greece. They started nothing. They're doing great for themselves. I mean, this is what America's all about. I mean, if you do well, you deserve to get compensated. Now, granted, Wall Street's made some mistakes, but we've got to keep that in the past. We have to focus on the future, move forward, and create jobs. That's the number one concern on everyone's mind. don't you think he's also looked, I mean, this president doesn't do anything, I think, without looking at tracking polls. Well, very few presidents do. And I think they've lumped you guys in with uh, with used car salesmen. And I, I, I'd say that respect to both fields, yours and, and used car salesmen. Sure. And easy to, ba easy to bash, easy to pound, and, and, the, and, and you make a convenient villain. You know what, again, it's, you know, enough's enough. I mean, the fat cat bankers term, I mean, it's just uncalled for. The name calling is uncalled for. I mean, the economic engine that fuels our city, our very well-being, is centered right here on Wall Street. I mean, a strong part of our economy, an icon of our democracy, is Wall no, Street. No, 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 you're dead on right. You know, and, 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 uh, to criticize but your it, industry I mean, doesn't do that. They've got a bunch of wusses who get up there and say, we're trying to work with the president. We're trying, you know, but, but they're not as direct as you. No, you know, and, and, and I hope, you know, setting up RestoreWallStreet.com, which is a nonpartisan organization, and help and dedicate it when you say it's a nonpartisan, it's not a nonprofit, right? I mean, correct. Okay. Yeah. So you know, it's 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 dedicated to you know restoring public confidence on Wall Street with the people from Wall Street. We're a voice. Well, for what the do you people. want people to do? do you want, obviously, you want them to think better of you, um, and not hear and believe everything the president and Congress is saying. So, and, what's on the site? I mean, I mean, listen, capital formation. Let's talk about that for a second, okay? It has been a gateway to creating millions of jobs in America. You know, companies like John Thomas Financial, like Goldman Sachs, companies of this nature have financed some of the biggest corporations that employ hundreds of thousands of people, the Apples of the world, the Googles of the world. You're not explaining that story. You know what happens if it falls in our pop culture and the media, which they always take the lowest hanging fruit because they're lazy. And what they do is they say, well, you know, these guys had all this rescue money. And they paid it back real quick. They're paying themselves big bonuses. Do you think some in your industry should have been aware of that and the appearance of a tenure? You know, I do. But then again, I mean, it's when is the end of that? When is putting that in the past, now focusing on the future and helping the banks lend money to small businesses to create jobs. See, that's the issue right now. The banks are going to get very nervous and they're not going to lend to small businesses because they're afraid the government is going to tax them so much. So, oh, that's interesting. So you think the more the, the, your industry is bashed, the less inclined it's, it is to lend. Absolutely. Because there's no upside to it. Yeah, everyone's going to be afraid. Makes sense. Everyone's going to be afraid. And that's the last thing we need right now. We have to focus on creating jobs. That's the number one Well, unless right he now. has a St. Francis moment here. That's not going to happen. <laughs> All right. So, um, and, and they're going to slap these fees on. And the police you guys pay, whether you accept TARP or not. Um, it's going to be a nasty few years. Listen, it's, um, you know, some tough times never last. Tough people do. It but the market is interesting, right, Tom? If you think about it, last year it was up. This year, you know, I know we've had a, a bumpy January. We don't know how that's going to go. But you'd think it'd be a hell of a lot worse. You know what? We have to always remain optimistic, but the tone of the president is not changing, and people see that, and they're nervous. People are keeping a lot of their money on the sidelines to wait and see the tone and if it changes from the president. And unless it changes, people are not going to have, as I would say, the, the, uh, the guts you know, to go out there and start a new business to help create jobs. It's just not going to happen. People are going to want to wait and see what direction the president's going to take.
Well, you know, a lot of these guys talk to me off the record, not on this show, but let's say the White House gardener for one. And the White House gardener tells me this. These guys will realize the economy's picking up. And true to their selfish heart, they'll start buying on, on the view that the economy's picking up and optimism that's building, like the GDP data. Sure. And they'll make money, and they'll get richer, and all will be forgiven. Listen, you know, at the end of the day, you know what, people have their different opinions. You know, my opinion is as follows that the president needs to tone down his rhetoric. Enough's enough with bashing Wall Street. You know, it, there's no need for it. Listen, Wall Street has made mistakes, but let's focus on the future, push forward, and create jobs. You know, that's, that's our view in my opinion. Well, you know, the industry could use a guy like you just to state that, because these guys, I think, have been milk toasted responding to Well, I look to do that with RestoreWallStreet.com. There you go. You're Greek. I'm Greek. Or Italian. <laughs> the two of us could go off there. It could, you, be, it could get ugly. You better All believe right. it. <laughs> Thomas, thank you very, very much. Thank very you very good much, having you. Thank you. All right, well, forget that.